Hello, angels, demons, and mere mortals out there. My name is Mediocre Racer72, and welcome to Doom 3 the Edition. So, yeah, um, I've been looking forward to play this game for quite a while. Now, I did play Doom 1 and Doom 2, and oh, um, what I have to say about Doom 1 and 2 is, is it was a strange, stressful, but interesting experience. So, yeah, if you guys haven't seen my playthroughs of Doom 1 and 2, I mean, you can if you want to, but only watch them if you have time to, because it's mostly a meh playthrough, but it's a playthrough nonetheless, so yeah. But, yeah, so today I'm going to play Doom 3, um... Again, I've been I've been looking forward to play this game for a while because it's well, it's within my comfort zone. This game was made back in 2004, and uh, an another game that came out in 2004 is Halo 2. I mean, yeah, I mean this is this is a game that's definitely within my comfort zone because well, you know, I have full control. You know, you can look up and down, you can jump, you can crouch. I think you can jump and crouch. But enough me rambling. Let's go to hell. I, I mean, I mean in the game, not in real life. I mean, it would kind of suck if I actually did went to hell if, if such a place even exists. But hey, if I am going to go to hell, I might as well bring a shotgun. Or a minigun. Or a plasma gun. You might screw it, I'll just take the BFG. <laughs> Alright everyone, let's do this. New game. Doom 3. Yeah, Marine. The Union Aerospace Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, New ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. Okay. So yeah, uh, in this playthrough, I will be do I will be doing a face cam because Doom Three is considered a horror game. Of course, I, d I don't really expect to be scared too much, but hey, who knows if I might get this? Who who knows if I if a demon might scare the crap out of me? Incoming transport detected. Mars approach, Dark Star with you zero seven zero sixty three passing through three eight thousand. Roger, Dark Star. Descend to 2000, set speed, contact ground on 26972. Roger that, Tower. We have them on radar, sir. They'll be landing in a few moments. And we have a story, guys. A oh my god, we, ha we actually have a story. Yes, no sir. disrespect to Doom 1 or Doom 2, but I'm just saying. Tower, Dark Star on final. We've got you, Dark Star. You are set for lockdown. Welcome back. I can't believe it's come to this. I didn't want to come here. He left you no choice. True. But this is the last time. I'm tired of running damage control every time he makes a mess. Right. You're the control. And if that fails, I'm the damage. If that's what it takes, Petruger is going to start doing things our way. Whatever you say, Counselor. Okay, let's do this. I can look up and down. What's this? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, you know, it's, it, it looks like I'm actually using a computer. You know, most games you would just, you know, you would just point and press the button, but no, you actually have to, you know, use, use like a little mouse. I, I like that little detail. Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. If you're looking for someone to help you, just head to reception. I gotta process the cargo log. I can't talk with you now. Okay. I'm getting some Welcome rage vibes. City. Union Aerospace is premier research here. facility. I mean, that's made by the same people. Please proceed directly to reception. I'm getting off this rock, and you should too. If you're staying here, watch your back. Okay. Okay.
Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bioscan. This'll only take a second. Okay. okay, let me get this started. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. All right, bioscan looks good. You're cleared for entry. All right, thank you. Hello. Okay. Of the UAC, welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research. Attention, Director Banks, and please report operations. to Central Administration. Goal number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being right, of up. employees and guests. Good thing I got some right here. This goal, we ask you to follow all UAC corporate procedures at all times. This includes restricting your movement to areas for which you have clearance. Always remain alert to what you and others are doing. If you notice anything out of the ordinary, Welcome to Mars. First time? Yep. You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up to your quarters. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the signs. Okay. Mars City is a smoke-free facility. Please smoke only in designated areas. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay. Haven't seen you before. You must be with that new detachment coming to check on us. I'm here because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No, but I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money, some product. Don't worry, they'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruger, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. Yeah, amazing things. Let's go. Listen, buddy, you don't have clearance for this area. Move along. Okay. Hello. Ooh, I have a I have a reflection. about Corporal Allen? Yeah, they said he just lost it. Shipped home this week. We lose one, gain another. No shit. I wonder who they're gonna move to Bravo team now. Who knows? I just hope they don't take anyone from my squad. I hate pulling double shifts. I hear ya. Another newbie. Welcome to the worst assignment you'll ever have. Come back for a drink when you get some free time. Yeah, okay. Turkey Puncher 
Yeah, just in case you forgot there were two other Doom games. Accidents? That's good. Is that what they're calling him now? So, tell me, just what the hell is happening over there? Beats me, man. Look, all I do is repair the converters when they blow, okay? That's it. Fine. But what's overloading them so much? I mean, how much damn power do they need? I wouldn't ask him if I was you, man. I heard Travis started poking around and he got transferred fast. Didn't even see him leave. Hell, no one saw him go. Was it one minute? On the next? Lucky bastard. Marine Command is right around the corner. Why don't you go bother someone there? Okay. Attention, Dr. Braddock, please report to Environment Management Office. You need to report to Sergeant Alpha. Kelly ASAP. He's in Command HQ. Okay. Yeah, this is a bit of a slow start. I'm trying to reconfigure this little guy. I can't talk now. Thank you. Oh, hello. Okay. Took your sweet time, Marine. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want right. you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I've programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. <laughs> Pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. Yes, sir. Lead away, little buddy. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are auto saves, but you know, I kind of like pause the game for like a few seconds. Attention, UAC. Personnel. I think they're manual saves too. Interested in earning more credits? Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See yeah, I'm just, I'm just getting rage vibes. You know, talking to people, and there's like a little spider robot. Y you guys remember Johnny, right? Johnny Five. <laughs> the UAC cares about the quality of life of its employees. Please right. take advantage of our quality medical care services. Pressing random buttons. Hello. Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. Most unexciting place on Mars. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Alright, cool. Okay, grab your gear. Yeah, now, now we're talking we're for combat. Let me do a radio test. Mars Sec radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Looks like you've been assigned to decommissioned comm facility. Just yep. follow the main passage through the underground junction, then straight out. You'll have a quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay, you're all set. Okay. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot any. This way in quite some time. Welcome to the dungeon, brother. Enjoy your stay. Hmm, red barrel. Hey! Uh 
Uh, hello. You're looking for the scientist, right? Yeah. I'm not sure you want to find him. You see, uh, uh, never mind. Okay. Listen, Scotty. I've done this a million times. It's not that hard. Why don't you crawl your fat ass down here and do it yourself? Because I'm getting paid to make sure you do it. Just finish the coupling so we can continue. Buddy, don't know if I can really help you with anything. I'm kinda busy here. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernache, dated November 10th, 2145. I've fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. I checked the work logs, and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in the Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off, the mumbling, the weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. End of log. Three, nine, six. No, must have been the other one. This is Grant Baston, your environmental services supervisor. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some uh, unexplainable things. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky. So we always have the occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. The power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people in track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation, and will continue to log reports as I get them. Okay. This may not be the most exciting first episode, but hey, I I'm the type of guy that likes, you know, slow starts. Yeah, I like to take in the atmosphere, you know, get a, get a little bit, get a little bit of feel of the game. Jeez, do you make a habit of sneaking up on people? Not Everyone's really. already on edge down here with all the strange things that have been going on. Hmm. The garage area is right through that door. Now stop bothering me. Alright. Danger. <laughs> oh. Yeah, let me turn off the lights. 
What the hell is down there? Okay. Hey, you're that new guy headed for the old comm center, right? Oop. You better hustle up, pal. This passage doesn't go all the way there. You'll have a quick walk outside to the center's airlock. Eh, hey, don't sweat it. Your suit's got plenty of oxygen. Okay. Well, what the hell are you waiting for, Marine? Okay. Oh, the red planet for nothing. What the hell? You guys hear that? Sound like screaming. Oh boy. Losing oxygen. Just, yeah, plenty of air. Sergeant Kelly, you need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. Yes, sir. Must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. Systems I can't let. I, you don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. I know. I built his cage. I'm getting abnormal readings here. Really? This is bad. God, I can't hold these levels. We're losing it. Oh God. Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. Alright, well, hell just broken loose. I say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. Oh, he got eviscerated by a, but a, a, a little pinky little pistol. Attempting to secure the 
Okay. Oh, hello. Report directly to Marine Headquarters and await further orders. Definitely looked a lot more intimidating. Ah. But damn, they, they're so weak. One shot. Come on, give me a challenge. I probably shouldn't be asking for a challenge. Oh, hello. Hello. Force combat. Help! Help! A portal. 
Mal das. Hello. Did like a little flip. All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We don't know what we're up against. Repeat, we have negative ID on the assailing force. There are okay. no SOPs. We don't have a clear path back to HQ. Stock up on ammo, establish a stronghold, and keep them at bay. Hmm. Oh, hello. Back to the nearest station and set up a CP there. Out. I will admit that was a bit of a good scare. <laughs> a good jump scare. This is Sergeant Kelly. Fall back to Marine ah, HQ yeah. and await further orders. <laughs> All right, got me a, a machine gun. Sixty rounds. Okay. Kind of reminds me of the Halo assault rifle. Anyway, save. Okay. Well, everyone, thank you for watching the first episode of Doom 3. So, yeah, if you enjoyed, you know, just hit that like button and laugh. And, yeah. Well, everyone, this was me, Mediocre Racer 72, and I will see you guys in hell later.